everyone, and welcome to Lisa and Will's Halls. I have an exciting Dollar Tree haul for you. These are items that Will picked up last weekend at Dollar Tree, and he just had time to haul it now. But he does have some new exciting items to share. So let's get right into this haul. And my first item is the Daisy Cakes Bakes, Keepsake Recipes, Southern Layer Cakes, Pies, Cookies, and more from Kim Nelson. Now, Kim owns a very interesting company, Lisa. She does. Her company, Daisy Cakes, was featured on Shark Tank. That is awesome. And Barbara was the person who she agreed to let have a shares in her company. Who is Barbara? Uh, Barbara's one of the Shark Tank people. Oh, okay. And this is uh, retail for 25 in the USA. So Barbara's the older lady on Shark Tank. Yes. Now, here's the other thing. She's and also the been on the Queen Latifah show. She's been on um, World News. She's been on Anderson Cooper. She's been on Nate Burkas. She's been on Rachel Ray as well. Forgot to mention that one. And this is out of a company in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Right. And now they're going um, across the United States. They're going to be on the West Coast and have a West Coast uh, shop as well. Now, Will and I do live in South Carolina. We are about two and a half, three hours from Spartanburg, South Carolina. We Neither one of us are from South Carolina, but we do reside in South Carolina. And this has some, uh, is a hardback. It is really nice. There's tons of recipes. There's 224 Let's see pages if I can get it where we can see it. in that book, and they are all hardback. Uh, great looking recipes. I've looked at some of them. I thought I saw like a rum cake, um, some some kind of syrup. Uh, I see a peach this cake. This is interesting. On the front. Pork rind custard cheesecake. Ah. Uh. I like pork rinds, but I don't know how they would be in a cake. I guess we'd have to try and see. I think it would be worth it, Lisa, to try it. But this is a really beautiful book. And Lisa and I have not determined whether we want to keep this book or whether we want to uh, do it as a Christmas gift for a family member. But we will probably more than likely keep it. We'll have to see. Yeah, it's just such a nice book. It is. And a lot of good information on the book as well, Will. Well, whenever you have over 100 recipes... It's to be expected. And next, Will has a, another new find that we have never seen at Dollar Tree before. I picked up two of these. Okay. And they are Schiller's Bar Book. You had me this one. He opened one. He got one for himself and one for a Christmas gift for his brother-in-law. Right. And it, like he said, it's Schiller's. 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 It's Schiller's. Schiller's. And Schiller's is world famous. Liquor, barbecue, cocktail. Barbecue. <laughs> Let's keep going. It's all right. Uh, liquor bar cocktail collection. I think that pork rind got me on the barbecue thing. It about did. Barbecue. I think it did. Plus, I just talked to my friend, and she ordered for, from a place in Greenville, South Carolina tonight called Mutt's Barbecue. And I have that on my mind as well. Well, it's expected. So let's get on with the video. I'm not going to edit it out. We're just going to keep rolling. So Keith McNally is the owner of this restaurant and he has several restaurants in New York City. So this is not a Southern thing. This is uh, a Northern. Which includes Balthazar, Schiller's Liquid Bar, Liquor Bar, excuse me, um, uh, Pastas, Morandi, Lucky Strike, which I've heard of, Manetta Tavern, and Polina's Bar and Pizzeria. Now, there are four books inside of here. And I'm going to tell you right quick. Oh, no, it's on your, your thing, Will. Let me hold it right quick. Um, and this does retail for $19.95 in the USA. Now, show them this side here. This side here, Will's going to take it out, has the four books inside. Now I'm going to show you. I turn it over. And the first book is called The <coughs> Bartender's Guide. And I want to be able to focus on this, Lisa, because there's a couple pictures in here. There's not many. Right. But there's things like tequila. There's uh, all sorts of uh, drinks in here and how to make them. So here's a good one. Lisa, you love chocolate and strawberries. I sure do. 
It's very pretty. And there's over, there's hundreds of recipes. So Lisa, we are going to be busy. Even though I don't drink. But um, these are all hardback. So yes, Will's going to be busy. Here you go, Will. Now this, but you can also make them non-alcoholic. True. This next one is the Schiller's Liquid Bar Seasonal Drinks. And just to give you an example, there's some red sangria. Okay. And each of these books is at least, I would say probably 60 pages. So there's a ton, like Halloween Punch. Oh, um, I see that one. Here's, here's Strawberry Champagne Punch. Where was the... Um, the Halloween Punch didn't have a picture to it. Oh, uh, okay. So these are a nice gift with Valentine's Day coming up, Father's Day, or Christmas or birthday gifts as well. Here right. we go. Now, you also have Artisanal Updates, which here's a wet ginger martini. Mm -hmm. And let's see if I can find another example here. Uh, this is the Delancey. And then our last book is going to be Classic Cocktails. So you got blood you and sand. Front of it? Yeah, um, all the cocktails. There you go. And then it has a picture of uh, Schiller's. Cool. And let's see. Now, if where we can is find. that at in New York City? Do you know? It didn't tell me. Okay. You have like the Americano. And all these recipes are tons of recipes. There's probably easily blood orange mimosa. There's tons of recipes in here, and so I'm really interested to see how they're going to taste and how everything's going to uh, go together. And then you've got the little box. You can stick them all back in, or you can keep them out. It's up to you. Here, Will, would you like to put them back in the box and show it one more time really quickly? Yes. So Will was super excited about that. So now he has another Christmas gift marked off his list. And a gift for herself there. But that's a really good deal, Will. For a dollar, you did really well. Right. And I, you know, I saw these. And of all the things that Sorry, I... Sorry, I, I hit the camera. Of all the things that I saw, the ladies that were there with me, uh, checking out, checking me out in the uh, Dollar Tree line, they both said that they wished that they had found those. And I said, well, I found them in your store. Do they have any more left? No. And next I have... The extended build ThrottleTV.com presenting custom cars lead sleds. Back from the Dead Part 2. And he's remodeling all the cars. And this is Ian Roussel, who is a famous car presenter. So, Lisa, if you can show them on the camera, please. Yes. And I got that for my brother-in-law. So, he is, like, already scoring this year. He's going to have a huge Christmas. And then I found something that I thought was super, super cute and super cool. Useful. It, and very useful. Now we, I have seen um, these cupcake holders, but we have never seen them in our Dollar Trees like this one. Could you show them, Will, how it comes off? And I know they have white, but the only one they had when Will went was this red. So I'm like, get it, because this is really nice and it has the closure on i mean the handle on top that closes up really nice and for a dollar if it's nine cupcakes inside i thought this would be very nice to put some um sweets in or cupcakes in or whatever you would like to make in it and give away for valentine's day or just keep it at your house Got a way to store your cupcakes nicely. So that is a great deal for a dollar. And it's pretty durable. Yes, it is. So I was glad to find that. And the snaps really work well. My next item is a repeat purchase. These are the for the peanut patch, original boiled peanuts. They are a South Carolina product. And they are from McCall Farms in Effingham, South Carolina, which is right down the road from where Lisa and I used to live. And these are really, really good heated up. So I cannot wait to have these once again. So we are getting a lot of <coughs> products from South Carolina tonight. Yes, we are. Next. Was a really good find you found. Yes, absolutely. Uh, this is a Glad zipper bags. Usually they're 22. And in this one, there are 29. 
So that was really good, I feel, for a dollar from the Dollar Tree. And our next item is the Assassin's Creed Blind Box. Now, I picked up five of these boxes, and there are five different yeah. characters. Right, that's what I was going to say. There is five on the back that you can collect. And this was a new find. We've never seen these at Dollar Tree before. And it does say these are for 12 plus age. And they are mystery figures. So each one has a different one. And Will's going to open one of them. And then I'm going to show you it truly is a blind box slash blind bag. Because there is no markings to tell you which one you have on here. Would you like to open that, Will? So let's see. Now, the other four are going to be for our grandson. Actually, we may, we'll probably just give him this one, too. Because he loves but Assassin's Creed. But let him Creed. open the other ones, what you're saying. Right. So, here's who we have. Can I hold it? And there is a sword him? down inside. It's going to be this person right here. And who is this person? Will? He looks kind it of looks like upset. Altar, and he is upset. And then inside of the bag, there's a weapon for Altar. Oh. His little right. sword. Oh, that is small. So we're going to put this back in the bag before we lose it. It might. It fits in his hands. Let me. See how good, how well it snaps on there. And you can hold the other ones up and just show them what so you got. So we have no clue what are in these other four boxes. And to be honest with you, we're not going to open them because... They're a gift. They're a gift. And I don't know if it fits in his hand or not. I'm, yes, it does. It fits in his right hand. That is cool. So there we have it. And then you can raise his sword up a little bit like he's charging. Okay, let me raise it up. There we go. So he is in attack mode now. So they have a lot of blind bags gear for girls at Dollar Tree. I mean, but this could be for a girl or boy, but this is more for a boy, I would think. So that is really cool. And so, I only found five of them, and I've only seen them in one store. These were the five that you found? And I bought every last one of them because I knew how much my grandson, Lyric, loved these. So I'm going to get these out of our way and tuck this one in because this is a real struggle. But that is so cool. And what were the names of these again? Ass Assassins? That's Creed. Assassin's Creed, which is a very popular Creed. Assassin's Creed. There's game. three of the different boxes. Now, what is this game played on? Do you know that? Um, it's played on almost every single game station that there is out there. So, if you have some boys that love to play Assassin's Creed. Or girls. Or girls. Keep your eye out for those at the Dollar Tree. Yes. We also found another new find at Dollar Tree. It's the Playmobil. And I'm going to hold this up so you can see. And I really don't know much about this, but this is also a blind bag as well. Looks like a lot of construction workers or something. Will you have to explain it to us and what it yes. is? Yes. Now, Lisa, do you know what country Playmobil is from? I have no idea. It is a German company, and it is built in Malta. The island country of Malta builds these uh, grab bags. And I am now going to open one. These were very popular for me as a kid. Actually, I'm going to open both of them. So they were popular for you as a child? Yes. Yes, they were. So have they came back in or something? or? Uh, they have. Now we have... You have to... I'm going to Here, show I'll you. I'll show them the pieces. Of, take too long to put it all together. Yeah. And I'll have to put these together. We have the Viking here, it looks like. Has a lot of little his head. pieces to put together. And then there's this cool little instructional video of how to put together. Video. Or, excuse me. Paper. Paper. Of how to put together the Viking, which is what that is right there. This was this one here? Yes. Uh, the Viking. The uh, Viking. Uh, the the one with point. the brown. This one? Yes. This one here. But this is the ones that you can collect. So that was oh, a nice Oh, and they are fun. different. So you got two different ones. Yes. So. Which one is that one? Do you know? I'm looking to see. And that one is the guy with the sword. 
Which one? The top here or this one? That one right there. Oh, this one. That is super cool. The gold one. So there are different grab bag numbers. And the grab bag number that is in the middle is different on these. So, so you may want to look and make sure. At the middle number. At the middle number to make sure you're not getting a duplicate. Nice find, Will. Will has a smile on his face because he loves to pick up the Hot Wheels from Dollar Tree. And I've picked up quite a few here. And let me go over them quickly with you. The very first one is going to be the Rocking Santa Sled, the Xmas 2020 Delivery. This one I thought was really cool. And it has Santa in the car. Do you see how Santa is? And then here is the car. There's He looks a little different than in the top, but there is Santa inside the car. He is all red. But that is really cute. It's Rocking a Santa Sled. Yes, and next we have the Uno 32 Ford Mattel Games. Also, this is a Uno, like the Uno cards. That is really neat, and it's a 32 Ford as well, so that is cool, Will. And this is the Mattel 75 collection, and there are 75 cards in this collection, if I'm correct. It is the Mattel Dream Mobile. That's really pretty as well, and the color's pretty. Next, we have from Fast and Furious Spy Racers, Netflix, Hyperfin on the Hot Wheels screen time. Oops, I dropped it. Sorry, Will. It's all right. And what do you have next for us? And I believe that one's new for 2021. This is from Fast and Furious. Hold on, Will. It is new for 2021. So you got a brand new car that just yes. came out of the dark. I got a new car. Uh, it is a next is a 1970 Chevelle SS from Fast and Furious, another part of the Hot Wheels screen time. I felt this one was super cool. This is the Flintstones Flint Mobile from Hot Wheels screen time. That is cool. I saw that those were retailing for seven dollars online. Wow. And that's awesome to get it for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Next we have from DC Comics and Batman, the TV series Batmobile. Now remember, Sweet Sadie J sent me the newer Batmobile just recently in a friend mail video. That is the classic Batmobile. Hi, Sadie. Hi, Sadie J. And now what do you have next? Next I have Matchbox cars and I had hauled the Hummer earlier in a video last week which was the Tootsie Roll Humvee and this week I had found the Tootsie Roll Pop van the Volkswagen van these are super cool I think the Volkswagen Beetle 4x4 which is from Dots The Sugar Daddy, which is the Ford GT. I love Sugar Daddies. Actually, I love all these candies. You have the Charms Chowmobile. Oh, that is really pretty. It is. And then, last but not least. This one has a lot of details in it. Okay. And last but not least, you have the Austin Minivan Junior Mints. Yum. This is Elijah's favorite candy. The Junior Mints. And then, just to round out, because I love police cars as well, the 1993 Ford Mustang LX SSP. And that was part of the Mustang collection, but I didn't really, I'm not really into Mustangs. So. And I love Mustangs. I've had two of them. Well, Lisa's just given me permission to buy the other five cars on the back. Since I started... Uh, driving and that does not give you permission will and next will has picked up some of the fairy garden items which i call sweet treat items so take it away will. And that's actually what they have here it's called sweets oh, and it okay. is the candy carnival because you told me it was just fairy garden but i've been calling it sweet and these pretty the candy carnival and then you have the unicorn. I hadn't seen with a this fairy. One. I hadn't seen this one before. It's really pretty. You have the cake shop next with the toppings. 
cake shop. It looks like a donut, but isn't that cool and so pretty? Then you have cotton candies. You have the Ferris wheel. And it has the little steps. You have the old school donut shop. And I was just turning a little sideways. It's not facing front. I don't know if they're all like that or not. Because I haven't been to Dollar Tree in probably a couple of weeks. So, and Will didn't really pay attention. And they do have this as 3D. It's coming out the seat and the table. That is really cute. And then you have the donut. And I'm not really sure if this is wheels or if it's like a car or something. Let me see. It's very unique looking. Maybe it it's is a topper. very unique. That is really pretty with the sprinkles. And it's coming out a little bit as well. That's the end of my Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great week. And until our next video, everyone, bye! Bye!